Real renunciation comes when we contemplate on karma. Traditionally, we get tired of like, when will this going? When is this going to end? For example, traditionally, we, when we talk about karma, we also talk about the twelve link dependent origination. This may be a lot of terms, but unnecessary terms. These are, if you can have time, learn those, please. And you, you really become a little bit careful, responsible of our action. We may not know, but a minute action of doing something will have never-ending result. Each day, how many new karma we accumulate? We gossip, we backbite, we get angry, we lose trust in the Guru sometimes. Why should I respect this person, this and that? All this doesn't just vanish. This sort of stay with us. That's what Buddha said. I believe him. And a minute action now. Traditional example. Um, I harm an animal. I don't know. I see a spider. I, oh, poisonous. Kill it. Done. Out of anger, all that. Arrogance, ignorance, I did it. You know? So, standard answer is maybe next life you'll be born as a spider. Okay. But we don't think beyond that. Master says, it doesn't end there. Shantideva says, only all the doors. You just you keep, like, just as in this human form, you did that one minute action. You, as a spider, for whole life. You know, you spend your whole life trying to catch other beings and kill them. Those are also karma. Now what? You have to suffer for those. If you did good, you have to enjoy those. And um, just like a minute action, one tiny thing we do brings more result, more result, more result. So Samdhan Rinpoche says, then the yogi gets tired. The more and more and more yogi observe his body, speech, and mind, yogi realize we are constantly churning more life, more life, more life, more life, more samsara, with no sight of end. Why? However, we were before, we're still the same. Still get pissed, still do all the things. Why should it stop? So then you really get tired. Like, what, what is this now? It's like a horrible magical show. There's no way out. That traditionally is what we call a renunciation mind. The Tibetan term is nge jung, nge jung, nge bar jung de, wanting to get out of it with uh, unfabricated, like a real renunciation mind, may I be able to practice the mundo preliminary. <laughs>